Hey guys, Evans with Z111 here today bringing you a video on Shadowrun Dragonfall, one of my favourite games recently, which was very unexpected because I've never really heard of this game before. It is a turn-based strategy RPG, and um, if I had to compare its games, I would say it's very similar to XCOM and Fire Emblem, although in my opinion it has elements better than both of those. Now, of course, that is my opinion, it's not a fact, however, that's down to your own interpre uh, interpretation, interpretation, and I will let you be the own judge of that. Obviously, big difference is you can actually run it around like the world, which you can't do in XCOM or anything. You have a home base and you launch missions from there. But in this one, you can go to characters, you can go to merchants, you can talk to them and everything like that. But as far as actual missions go, they are very, very different. So what I will be showing you in this episode, and I will get this out of the way, this is a very text-heavy game. The story is a huge part of it, and um, I honestly advise paying attention to the story, delving into the missions, and experiencing it for yourself. And for that reason, I'm not going to do a story mission, I'm going to do one of the side quests. So if I get on the train, then I can go along to one of the operations, which is... Duh, duh, duh. Yeah, it is finding the... or finding Ezekiel's lab, which basically means my doctor merchant, who sells, like, medical supplies, it will increase his stock and everything. So I'll be getting a train and going over there. So first of all, I need to assemble my squad. There are a lot of different people to use from... I normally always run with Glory, she's a sniper with a shotgun, really like that loadout. And Dietrich, I, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, Dietrich, or something like that, is a mage, so I'll be taking him. And then, in fact no, it's not Glory with a sniper and a shotgun, that's Iger. Glory is the one with a very good pistol who can attack multiple enemies and claws, so I'll be leaving Blitz and all the others behind. So I'll be taking the squad and myself, Glory, Dietrich and Iger. I'm going to absolutely butcher pronunciations of people in this game, but I'll go ahead on the mission and show you how the game works. So this is a loadout screen where you can give each of your characters armour, weapons and equipment, anything that they need. So um, I've given everyone their correct weapons. With the characters who aren't yours, like Blade is my character, with all the other characters you can loan them equipment, which basically means that they have it for this mission, but at the end you get it back if they don't use it. Otherwise, they start with the same amount of things each mission, which regenerates at the beginning. So if you can, if you use those things, then it means that they regenerate each time, and you can basically waste them. You don't have to feel as though, oh, if I give them my equipment, then they're just going to use it for themselves, and I don't get to use it on my own character. So, um, Karma is basically experience and leveling up, but I, I will actually quickly show you this, just show what leveling up is like. You can level up pretty much anything you want to. If you want to be an intellectual mage and cast spells, you can do that. If you want to, um have willpower to um, increase your magic attacks and you can do that, charisma to be a smooth talker and have conjuration spells. I myself am going with um, a quickness range combat build which uses shotguns and I am very happy with that, that's what my character is like. But there's nothing I can level up right now so I will not. Um, as I said it's very text heavy and there's no voice acting or anything so you do have to do a lot of reading. So I'm infiltrating a science facility, and um, you do have voice options, and you do have choices. That's the biggest thing in this game. Choices have a big impact on how the missions go down. Um, so I will just um, I will try and be calm and collective with my team, and um, and do this mission not peacefully but professionally. Let's say that much. So this area looks like there could be a battle about to go down. There seems to be a fair amount of cover. Although, that might just be for escaping. I have a feeling getting in this facility won't be difficult, but getting out will be hard. Let's inspect the tyres. I don't think that's very interesting. Um, oh, there might be a vent underneath it, so if I move the trash aside... Yes, there is a vent. Can I actually get through there? Does that do anything for me? Is that like a way to sneak in? Okay, a dwarf can fit in, so if I brought one of the short characters along, then he would have been able to get through the vent, or she, but I... Did not, so that means I won't be able to do that. I can hack through the door, which it seems I might actually have to do. There's people over there, so I want to avoid them, although they might actually be able to help me. Let's check out the door, see if there's any easy way in. Um, I can pound on the door, although I can't... Uh, damn it, my stats aren't high enough to force it. But, oh wait, yeah, my muscle. Is there someone who's stronger than me? I think Iger might be, so I'll get her to try it. Um, no, okay. Well, let's try myself, seeing as she failed. Have I pound on the door? No, that just hurt my hand. Okay, that was good for nothing. Alright, I'm actually going to go over and check out these people, see if they can help me at all, because they might not be hostile. I will give them benefit of a doubt, but otherwise I'll have to try hacking in, generally my least favourite method. And I don't actually have a decker in my crew, so that's going to be very difficult. But these guys aren't proving too useful, I can't even talk with them. So, um... Am I going to be able to do this? What's, what am I going to have to do? Could I go through the manhole, perhaps? I don't have a decker. 
deckers are basically like the computer savvy people. Um, now it's entered combat mode, which I'm slightly worried about. Should I be concerned? I'll stick you on Overwatch just in case, and stick you on Overwatch with your sniper. I, I don't know why... No, okay, that was just a preemptive. Alright, let's search for dumpsters, see if there's anything there, see if there's a way to get in. Dig through the garbage, and... Um... Nope, I'm just getting... Ooh, lab cards. Or key cards even, that might get me in. And my team is insulting me and saying I'm being stupid. Okay. So I did get a keycard, which means I might be able to get through the door now. Um, okay, now they've noticed me digging through the trash. Okay, they're not even working in the lab. They're just they're just street rats. So seeing as I have street etiquette, which is basically the way I speak and the way I was raised, I can respond in that way, which will sort of um, be hostile. I can bribe them, or I can attack them, or I can just tell them to back down. I'm going to use my street etiquette to smooth talk them out of it and um, pretend I'm one of them. Which I, I don't know how I got away with that, but I won't complain. I managed to get away with a keycard without a fight, which means I should be able to enter through the front door now. As you can see, right there, I had that method, I had that method, and I had that method, which led to three more methods. And that's simply getting in the building. This game, and this is just a side quest. Imagine what the main quests are like. They are ridiculous. But now I can use the keycard to get through the door, and now I can enter the lab. I'm not sure if this lab is going to be occupied, or if, um, if it's closed. Seeing as I, yeah, I, I think it might be closed, so let's go through here and just explore the area. I'm looking for experimental bioware. Bioware is essentially augments which I can give to my people. If you haven't, if you haven't gathered already, this is a cyberpunk setting, and to be honest, I'm not crazy on cyberpunk, but it doesn't, like, the game isn't consumed by cyberpunk. You can still enjoy it if you're not a fan. Okay, I can't get through that door because I haven't got decking ability. If I leveled up my decking ability, then I would be able to do it, otherwise I need someone in my party who can. That one needs executive clearance only. What about this one down here? Clearance B? I think I might be able to get through this one with the keycard I have. No, okay, I haven't got enough clearance level. So let's check through here. See if I find anyone or find any more keycards or anything. Is there anything handy in here? There is a scientific terminal. Will I be able to do anything with this? It might give me the location of a Bioware. Um, oh gosh. Tissue banks, breakdown, analysis, replication, and fabrication, contract fulfillment. I think that's the most likely in order to find my Bioware. Um, High-end security level enhancements in inventory. Yeah, I think this is what I was looking for. But I will I will go through the other stuff just in case. So there's a, there's a test subject called Billy who's been tested on. And they're hellhounds. Great. So I might run into a hellhound whilst I'm here. I will go through everything else in case there's anything useful, but I don't think it will be. So, yeah, let's just go through the last stuff. And, nope, nothing that helps me get through. So, that leaves me with... Oh, there's a room there, but I can't... Observation terminal. That might be useful. If not, then I'll just climb down the ladder and see what I can find down there. Um, okay, this is back to the animal testing. Uh, hellhound testing protocol. So, there are hellhounds and basilisks here by the, seams, uh, by the looks of it. Which um, isn't great. Basilisks are very, very annoying because they um, they stun you and mean you can't move. They essentially turn you to stone. But alas, I can't do anything else here, so I will simply climb down the ladder and um, see what's down here. I assume this will see other method of entrance, so I'm not expecting to find anything. But no, apparently is. This isn't. This wasn't the other way to get in. This is just another area. So let's see what's over here. Pick that up. That's just some money. Isn't too useful right now. Not worth a detour, if I'm perfectly honest. And it's kind of a shame, because a lot of people are probably turned off at this point, and you want to see some actual combat. Trust me, I will get there. I already avoided it at one point, as you saw. But there's another door which would get me back up. Can I... No, that's clearance B. I've already checked clearance, clearance B, and I can't get through there. So I'll climb up this ladder, which should lead me to the other area of the lab, I believe. Yes, it has. Which means I can go through this door, and hopefully find a keycard. Okay, there's, um, there's defense drones. So here you're going to get some combat. But I should probably be able to kill these guys instantly. It's um, very XCOM in that you can move within certain areas. There's there's half cover, there's full cover and things like that. And percent chance to hit. So what I want to do is... Oh, these guys are quite armoured. Those white ticks above their health bar is how much armour they have. And armour... If you have um, crappy weapons, then they're just going to get deflected by the armour straight away. So with Aiga, I am going to run back because she's a sniper. So I can just attack from distance with a sniper. And, um, what can I... That used both our moves, damn it. I misjudged the movement there. 
Okay, what I probably will do is I'll use Glory. I'll activate her Adrenal Pump, which means she can move more for a certain amount of turns. And then I will switch to my hands or my claws and just move in an attack, I think. In fact, can Iger do anything? Okay, he can use Haste on Glory to make her move even more. And then I might attempt this to try and destroy some of its armor with a shotgun. There we go, that's some of its armor destroyed. And then I'll go for an aim shot just for more guaranteed damage. There we go. And now Glory can run in, hopefully finish it off with her claws. Okay, there's 8 damage, then I'll do normal attacks to finish it off. I missed that one, and now they're shooting back, damn it. I'm not in cover or anything either, and there's a- I, I've never come across that thing before, what the hell is that? I'm concerned. An automated drone, right? Glory can, um... She can use this, which might attack adjacent enemies, there we go, that attacked both, it did miss the other one though. And in fact, what I can do is switch to her pistol, and then use this ability, which will target all the enemies. So I can target that, 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 and then this one again just to get a guaranteed kill. And then she will shoot all of them in one turn using one AP. So um, there we go, that's two hits, and hopefully finish that one. Damn it, wasn't so lucky. Which means I'll just go for a, um, what's the highest chance to hit? Probably that. So an aimed shot, which will finish off that drone. Now, I have a couple of turns left. And you have a shotgun, which you could use to attack this. But you're not going to do too much damage because you haven't got armor piercing. So what I might just go for is an uh, aimed shot on this guy at the back with a sniper to get him low on health. And then you can... Uh, that's a lightning AoE attack. But that will attack allies if I try and do it nearby. In fact, no it won't. I could cast it there. Which I am going to do. So that will get rid of some armor and um, do some damage. And then, what can I do here? I might actually just use him to heal up Glory. because I mean, sorry, Blade, because she got damaged. So I'll use him to heal up Blade. And then Blade can... What has the highest chance? Probably your shotgun. I'll use that. This shot basically disables their AP, which means they can't move as much. But with less damage. So there we go, that got rid of 2 AP, which means this thing probably won't be able to attack next turn. And I missed my second shot. So, and you're going to attack Blade again. Blade is going to go for armor piercing on this guy. There we go, and that one's down. And then switch to your assault rifle and go for an aimed shot on the automated drone, which will finish him off. And then that's done. That was an example of combat. As you can see, combat isn't just like the entire mission isn't combat. There is walking around, but combat is basically at different instances throughout the mission. So, I can unlock the door to the main lab. There we go. I will... Oh, that's just through there. That doesn't actually do much for me. It's just essentially a shortcut. Let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, wait, there's a scientist interrupting. Um, all right, yeah, he knows I'm not meant to be here. Um, how dare you enter my domain? All right, what should I do here? I might try and intimidate him. Yeah, I'm going to try and intimidate him. Um, okay, this isn't going too well. Um, I'll, I'll question him first to see if I can find out anything. Is he the owner of this place? Um, yeah, I, I'm not... This guy is a bit crazy. Um, alright, seeing as he's a bit crazy, I might try and work with him. He's acting like he's some kind of knight. I don't know what's wrong with him. And because I killed him, he's angry. Should I? I'll, I'll carry on the sweet talk approach, because he seems to have calmed down a little bit. Yeah, okay, this is working. I can't believe that actually worked. So let's see if he helps me out here. Um, I, I can't understand half what he's saying, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, ah, oh, there we go, because I've did some research, I can actually talk to him about it. I can realise that Billy is a basilisk, and this means he might trust me a little bit more. Um... Okay, he's been experimented, he's the ultimate killing machine, and he's five times as deadly and smarter than ten men. Great. Um, I don't want to talk about killing him, because this guy seems to like him. So I'll, I'll keep focused on the executive wing. There we go, okay, good, he actually helped me. Uh, access B, keycard. If you should survive the encounter, search for the long missing keycard E to open the executive wing. Okay. So, is the executive wing currently locked off? Apparently so. 
I'll continue my mission here, see if I can get anything, just some currency. But otherwise, that is everything, so I will continue on. And in fact, I'm, um, I'm kind of suspicious of the fact that there was a door overground and underground. So I'm going to take the underground door, because obviously I'm not meant to be here. And yeah, I managed to get past that guy, but I, I don't know what's through there. So I'm going to go underground and use the keycard through here to um to get through and then I might be able to sneak past some people I'm not 100% sure there's also a secret room there which leads to what looks like a power generator so that might be useful later All right what's down here or oh, this is where they were just holding the hellhounds oh great all right you can switch back to your shotgun you can get rid of this guy's armor you're gonna miss never mind um what you are going to do is use cram, which will mean you can move much more. You've now got 3 AP and you can move more. But Hellhounds are melee units, so I'm not too worried about that. Ooh, what should I use? I think I can do 60 damage. I, I reckon I can do this. So I will do a shot with a shotgun. I'll switch to my grenade launcher and fire two shots and hopefully finish off the Hellhound. There we go. Okay, that one is down. And then Glory... I don't like... Oh, that's but that's the Billy they were talking about. Damn it. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's not too good. Um, in decrease damage or... Alright, I'm going to set up a Ley Line underneath me. Ley Lines basically uh. increase the power of mages, so if I cast that, that means he's going to be much more powerful as long as he stays there. But him saying that shouldn't be a problem because, as I said, they're melee units. Then I'll run in Glory close to tank the damage. I will activate her Adrenal Pump again so she can use extra turns. And then I will actually try and stun this Hellhound. It's only a 60% chance, but it did stun him, so that's going to stop him moving any closer because I switched to the stun gun there. And then I'll move Iger back here to get some easy shots on Billy. Um, increased chance for critical damage and pierces armor, but that's a low chance. That pierces armor and it's an increased chance, so I will use that. And that missed. 81% chance and it missed. So Billy's going to move in closer. And that's a Basilisk. So he's going to stun... Oh, damn it. He stunned my mage. So my mage can't do anything this turn. Right. What am I going to do instead? I'm going to switch back to the sniper. That ignores armor completely, but it's a low chance. That one is an almost guaranteed chance, but uses both her moves. I could actually switch to a shotgun. Because this should hit both of them. Okay, no. It only hit one of them. So I'll switch back to the sniper. And go for a headshot, which is going to hit 40 damage, and it crits, and ignored some armor. Now, that damages adjacent targets, so that actually might be a good idea if I keep firing the grenade launcher. I am going to do that. It doesn't do much damage, but it still does some. So I'm going to fire another round of grenade launcher, and that one missed, went completely past him. So her moves were pretty much wasted. You, on the other hand, can you... You can't do much. You could do that to pierce some armor... You can't do hail of bullets because it needs at least three enemies. I, um, I'm just going to go for this. I'm going to unload as many bullets into this thing as I can. And I'll use that to pierce the armor. Because I, I don't want that thing attacking me. I'm going to get one more shot. Which I will try and attempt with an aimed shot. I did damage it but not enough. And now Basilisk is moving in, in closer. Going to damage Glory and remove some of that AP. Glory's got a lot of armor. Which means damage isn't insane. And somehow they're coming in from behind too. Okay, let's switch back to the shotgun. Let's um, let's try and disable this guy so he can't screw me over. And um, okay, I haven't actually got any abilities on my assault rifle, so that's not too useful. I'll try and I'll try and decrease the armor of Billy. There we go. So now I should be able to finish him with my claws, which um, yeah, that should be easy enough. But um, mana burn. Oh yeah. Okay, basically each of the side characters they have a side quest, and I recently did. Glory's side quest, which upgraded her claws, which was bloody awesome. Her side quest was incredible. Like, the amount of... Oh, damn it, I just kind of shot her, and I just kind of shot her again. Glory's side quest was insane. It was honestly, like, worth doing. It was better, in my opinion, than some of the story quests. So, um, the amount of effort and writing that's gone into it is insane. I really can't um, stress that enough. I'm going to switch my throwing stars, and... Oh, shurikens, even and go for this guy and I'm, I'm not really doing enough damage which means the hellhounds are back online they're gonna miss their shots fortunately 
And um, I will just finish this off with a shotgun. At least I think I can. I uh, got two shots off, didn't do enough damage though. I'm not going to pick that up yet. I will try and stun this guy again. And I missed that one, so I'll switch... Oh damn it, I can't switch back to the pistol while I was her entire turn. Alright, are there any spells you can use? Alright, I will cast haste on Iger so she can shoot three times. And then that should be an almost guaranteed kill on this guy if I use an aimed shot. No, I missed. So I'll go for that. There we go, that one is down. And one more Hellhound to deal with. He set fire to my mage, but I should be able to finish him off. And one more shot. There we go, that Hellhound is down. Which means I can pick up whatever Billy dropped. What did, let me guess, for E, the executive key card, of course. Okay. So um, this area was pretty much useless. It was just for the Hellhounds. But that did mean I got the key card, as I said. So now I can get through to the executive area and find my Bioware. But that was over here, right? I wonder if this guy has anything more to say. No, he's buggered off. I'm not sure where he is now. So let's go back through here and use executive clearance to get through. And I'll swipe that. Then this should, this should be... Wait a second, is this bad? What are you... Why are you going in there? What are you doing? Okay, so the place was in lockdown and I've, I've reopened access for him. So he kind of owes me. And in fact, he might just give me the products. Although it's knockoffs. Great. Oh yeah, pretty much what character said. Um, well, does that mean he'll just let me have it? Because it is just knockoffs. Um, okay, I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to be assertive here. Fill your pockets, take whatever you like. Okay. I, I don't really care about him. I'm going to go. And I'm going to take my stuff before he changes his mind. So that means I should just be able to get the Bioware, then hightail it out of there. They are here. And I've picked them up. Now, can I escape without problems? I think I can. Is there anything else to take? No. Sweet. So, I think I did this mission in the best way possible. I, um, I acknowledge this guy was crazy, and I didn't question Matt. I didn't bump into any other people. I was peaceful with the people outside, and I killed Billy to get the executive keycard. Uh, but wait, there is someone complicating it. Man in suit. Uh, the megaphone really isn't necessary, man. I'm standing right here. Um, okay, yeah. This isn't good. I will say the owner gave me permission. Um, it's quite a reputation back in Spain. We're... Oh, great. So that... I'm stealing stolen property. Um, <laughs> yeah, the place was locked down for two years and he chose today to come visit. Maybe he was tipped off when the quarantine was broken. Ah, uh, okay. So, as soon as I opened the doors, they realised. Uh, so they basically used me. So I have no choice but to fight? Great. Well, not great. That's far from great. Because I've just walked out of the building. They are going to have the drop on me. And there's a lot of them. Oh man, this isn't good. Right, I, I've got a plan first of all. There's five enemies to take down. Alright, you are going to use haste on Glory, and Glory's already in cover, so that's ideal. And then she is going to activate her Adrenal Pump, and then she should be able to get a multi-shot off on people, but with a low chance on everyone. Who do I want to kill first? Technician, Man in Suit, Enforcer, Mage, Conjurer. Conjurers are always important to get rid of. So are Grenadiers, because they, they're very powerful. Alright, I will I will focus on him. I'll try I'll I'll just go for all the highest chances, but I'll get two on him. So that's gonna miss the first one. That's gonna miss the second one. Gonna miss the third one. And gonna miss the fourth one. That could have gone better. Alright, can I um can I stun the man in the suit? Stop him doing anything? No, I'm gonna miss that one too. I'm clearly the luckiest person in the world. Then you're gonna run to cover and try and get an aimed shot on this guy. And there we go, did manage to get some damage on him. You need to move back. Move back as far as you can, actually. And then just start unloading shots into people, preferably with Grenadier. There's 20 damage on him. And now the enemy get their turn. And shit, I'm, I'm going to suffer a lot of damage here. This is an example where I'm heavily outnumbered. And to be honest, in a lot of missions it is like this. In a lot of missions there's multiple factions going on. And um, 
Oh shit, he's dead. So I'm gonna have to use one of the items he was carrying to revive himself. Um, yeah, there are multiple factions going on, and you can choose to side with factions. You can choose to fight them both, depending on what reward you want. The choices in this game, I really can't stress it, are great. And in this mission, even though there's been a lot of choices, it's actually I've had less than I have in other missions. It's it's great, and the amount of freedom you have in this game in this game is great, as well as being a solid, general, fun game. It's a good RPG. Right. Um. I'm going to use that on yourself to increase accuracy and decrease the amount of damage you're taking. And then try and get a disabling shot on this guy to stop him attacking as much. Glory could go for another mod. No, she can't. That's on cooldown. Um, what can she do? I, um, I might try and... Yeah, I might actually just go for this guy. I'm going to do it. I'm going to run for him and try and take him down. So there's his armor reduced and AP damage and he's suffering too. I always like that. Alright, let's summon a spirit. I'm going to summon it a force for fire spirit. And I'm going to summon it on the front line so it can do some damage. So there we go. And now you can do a lot. You can weaken armor. You can a line of fire controlled by the cast and directed at one target. I haven't come across that ability before. But let's try and cast it on... Let's try and cast it on you, actually. Let's see how that works. Okay, 27 damage. And, um... You really need to heal yourself, my friend. But have you got any small spells you can cast? You could use your spell heal? Or the lightning AoE attack. I feel as though that's going to be much better. I'm actually going to cast that over here. And there we go. That's a lot of damage. That reduced their armor and it reduced their ability points. That was a very good turn. Definitely better over healing. And now I will throw grenades to set these guys on fire. Hopefully that doesn't miss. No, it didn't. That damaged all of them. And I can get a frag grenade too. 75% chance. I will take that. And that should damage these guys. Damn it. It didn't get the two of the back. I didn't realize that. I think I'm on track to win this fight. He died, but he healed himself with the last remaining medkit he had. And he's dead again. Right. So that means he's out of action. Unless I can get someone else to revive him. Um... That, that thing, ah, oh, that thing turned on them. He conjured it, but it turned on them and it's now attacking them. That's great. Although the thing is, my my one also has a chance to do that, so maybe I shouldn't, um, I shouldn't be too happy. Otherwise, I might regret saying it. Right, let's finish you with my claws. So do one attack on you, and two attacks on you. Then switch to your pistol and get an aimed attack on the conjurer, which won't actually get rid of the spirit now because the spirit has turned on him. So let's switch to the grenade launcher and attempt killing these guys back here because that should do a lot of damage and it attacks adjacent targets so it will also hit her. There we go, that guy's down. That one is low on health and will be dead next turn. You can use an aimed shot. Um, an aimed shot on the technician and that will hit but not good enough. Right, you're going to attack. Oh no, Blade is very nearly dead. You're going to die from the fire. The spirit is t still attacking his allies. And Blade, um, Blade, you're actually just going to go on the offensive as opposed to healing up. In fact, you're going to do both. There you go. Heal yourself and get one shot off. Glory, you can't really do much. I'm going to move you in a little bit, then see if you can finish off this Inferno Spirit, because now he's going to start attacking me. So let's try that. 24 damage on it, not too bad. And that's an aimed shot, so I will try and finish off this dude. Nope, I missed, and I got the second one. So there's only two enemies left to deal with. You're going to attack Blade. She is very nearly dead. Glory is also very nearly dead. Oh, crap. Let's run to cover with Blade. And see if I can get a disabling shot on that guy. I didn't succeed. Maybe I could stun it. No, the chances aren't high enough. I'm just going to go on the offensive. All right, there's one miss. There's an attack that's going to hit, and that's it for her. I I want to try and finish this guy. There we go. Okay, got it. And piss us up to four armor. That's a very low chance, but come on, can... No, never mind. I thought the game was actually going to get my favor at that point. And there we go. Blade went down, but she used her medkit to heal back up. So, Glory, can you just... In fact, now I'll get Blade to attack first. Blade can attack with her assault rifle because that's better at this range. Get one damage and another damage. Now 
Glory can run on over with her claws and hopefully try to attack and get him bleeding, but that didn't succeed. And you need to reload, so that's not ideal. That will use up one turn and then you can fire with your second bullet. That's going to miss. I'm not too worried now, though, because these should be the last enemies. So, um, let's use the assault rifle again. Fire one shot, that's going to hit. Fire another shot, that's also going to hit. You can switch to your shotgun, go for an aimed shot, which should... Ah, oh, damn it. What are the chances? And there we go, that one is dead. Sweet. And that guy, he's, that guy knew that would happen. I'll just play along with this crazy guy and get moving. And then that means I um, my medkit vendor is going to have even better stuff. He'll be able to sell me better upgrades and hopefully add a discount too. But this has been Shadowrun Dragonfall. I'm not sure how long this video turned out to be. Missions can last a long time and this was only a side quest as said. So um, generally that's how long a mission will last if not longer. I've had missions last up to an hour and a half because they have so many stages to them. But if you want to see more videos of this game, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on whether or not you think it's better than XCOM or Fire Emblem. If you think it lacks depth or if you think it has more depth than them, if you think it's more fun, let me know. This has been me, Evans with Z11. Please rate if you enjoyed the video. And this is me, out. Peace.